Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. And if you guys can kind of hear the ambience of the rain, it is raining right now. However, this is going to be a very interesting video. So I just spent the most money on a storage unit. I did go 50-50 in it with a friend. Uh, we won a storage unit for over $8,000. Um, so that means I'm putting in half about 4,000 and some change. So probably around like 4,070, somewhere around there. Um, the most money I've ever spent on a unit, even though it was going halves. So yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. There was a few units that went up there to like, I think $20,000. There was a couple units that went over 10,000. Uh, a couple units that went over like seven, 8,000, 10, uh, 9,000, 10,000. So yeah, it was just all over the place. There was five units all owned by the same owner. And uh, my buddy um, that went 50-50 with me, he is not going to want to be on camera, so we're not going to be filming him. Um, he said I can record all I want. Um, and uh, he also won one or two other units. I'm not too sure. Um, but it's going to be very, very fun. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm not going to spoil it too much until we get there. So, uh, yeah, man, just wish us luck, and hopefully we find some good, good units. So or good good stuff in the unit sorry <laughs> so uh much love let's go ahead and get to the uh storage facility which we we're actually about five minutes away so we'll see you guys in a sec all right guys check it out so we're at the facility um so this is where the the eight thousand dollars and some change came into play like i said me and my friend we went 50 50 uh in this i'm gonna try to keep him out of the recording you know respectfully and uh i'll go ahead and let him open it up and as soon as it goes open i'll i'll show you guys i'll keep him out of the camera and look at that you guys wow Yep, this thing is packed. It's actually, you know, the pictures don't do it justice, does it? This is a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. But see, this thing right here is sealed. That's sealed. Yeah, this this is trains right here. This is trains. It says it right here, in, uh, Life Flight Trains. So if you guys don't know, the reason why we bid on this is there was five units that came up. It seemed like I had a whole bunch of train stuff, collections type of stuff, and my friend was, uh, generous enough to let me go 50 50 with them on this. It's actually an Apple computer box right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Already finding collectibles in the first tote. So, again, shout out to my friend. Like I said, I. He, he like I said, he, he's another blessing in my life personally. Uh, was, we actually met at a garage sale. He told me he was an eBay reseller, yada, yada, yada. And we just kind of clicked from there. We actually talked pretty much on a monthly basis and we were talking about these units and then, you know, we were just like, you know, let's go all in, man. Let's do it. So he has a unit that he that he has uh, won by himself personally and then this is the one that we went 50-50. We're both in it around 4000 and like $50 or so. K Connection is not a great brand, not a great brand, but it is still collectibles which is amazing see right here that we saw this we saw the bose speakers as a matter of fact that actually might be in there keith um but yeah but this thing right here is sealed um another lionel thing matter of fact let me see if i can reach that just so we can get our our hands a little a little dirty i think that might be in there i think everything's gonna be yeah look at that you guys what can i say man give me a handshake baby Woo, let's go yeah i think we made the right call though we we went back and forth to try to figure out how much we're going to spend on it yeah you know that type of stuff because he was already deep into other units so i think uh very I, deep <laughs> very deep yeah when i say deep i'm talking about his pockets got deep in in these units so i think this might be a home run man i really do um this matter of fact That's this thing's sealed this thing's sealed yeah this is the original seal i bet you this thing is in there a thousand percent uh this is a mcdonald's uh mth electric train uh like model like a replica but it's my, but the thing i don't get about it is it's really big so maybe the pictures on eBay didn't show it justice because it looks smaller in the pictures. But right here, if you look right there, there's an Apple uh, box right there. It has a, yep. uh, yep, yep. So there's an Apple like, box. Yeah. There's another Lionel box right there. Yeah, ain't, ain't no telling what we're going to like. Look at this, all this is sealed. This is fragile. And I don't know. I mean, definitely a little bit of books in here, but that's fine. And here you go. What is this? Hey, you know me. Yeah, Micro Center. Hmm. Okay. We don't have any rain right now until roughly about six or seven. So I don't know how long we're gonna be here, but you know, whenever Key, uh, my friend Key says he's ready to go, we're ready to go. So, um, but yeah, let's get let us get to work. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So check this out, man. So uh, we haven't even looked into it really. So, uh, like I told you guys the story of on all this, I know the anticipation is killing you guys. So we, I literally just opened up these two. Now, you guys, it's pretty pretty crazy. So this person reminds me of the uh, locker nuts whenever he won the storage unit with all the train stuff i think this is exactly how this unit is going to be and let me show you guys for a sec so inside this is a is a train and all that um and keep in mind we're doing this 50 50 so we actually might end up renting this unit out for 30 days um but i want to show you guys a few things because this person literally bought stuff and then they just packed them up so 
Um, so this is called Lifelike. Lifelike is uh, kind of like a lower end brand, but look, you got receipts right there. Wait, look at all this, you guys. Oh wait, actually, this is not Lifelike. This is Lionel Electric Trains. Wow, look at that. Still brand new. Brand new, normally $24.95. It says O gauge operation track section 6-5530. So this is gonna be something that I'm gonna to have to go through with my friend. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, look at all this. This is all Rail King. Rail King stuff does extremely well, you guys. Holy crap. Wow, matter of fact. Oh, okay, so these aren't the, the Rail King trains, but let's go ahead and look that up right there. All right, guys, so we just looked up uh, this right here, and it looks like these are all the lower end ones, but I think this right here, there's a bid right now on a 3750 yeah two bids 3750 so a lot of the stuff we might have to look up on uh worth point but i think this is probably easily a 35 dollar piece and i think there's going to be more than one yeah so there's going to be like a rail kings box here so this one's actually different look at that tough and rugged o and o27 freight cars and yeah, look at this you guys look at that you guys wow 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 rail king is a great brand you guys just so you guys know i mean absolutely amazing As a matter of fact let's go ahead and look this up real quick we're not gonna look up everything i'm just gonna try to show you guys as much as i can for as long as we're gonna be here for today but this could be a huge little treasure i don't know man uh like i said it was a blessing for my friend to let me uh do this with him 50 50 because um yeah it's pretty amazing stuff but let's go ahead and dig in all right guys check it out so we're probably what maybe an hour into this roughly yeah we're yeah. in about half a foot inside yeah still a half a foot inside you guys so we're just gonna show you guys a couple things um some stuff that i got a uh, brand new craftsman wrench uh, torque wrench goes for like 100 bucks roughly 70 to 100 um rail king type stuff lionel trains rail king some plastic bill stuff um more lionel stuff he's got a really cool piece here he put it in his jeep but it's a uh, roughly about a 400 dollars rail king train like a four passenger subway train um, this is like some little random extras, little, you know, bread and butter stuff. Uh, Gala is actually a great brand. Um, more loose uh, little trains. All this right here is train tracks. Uh, all this right here is also miscellaneous, like random trains like this. Um, and this was more random trains. So we're only a half step in and we already valued up roughly. This is obviously a rough estimate just from the stuff that we have pulled from what he's dividing and what i'm dividing you're looking at probably around five grand if not maybe then that's i think that's being conservative um <clears throat> but yeah it's pretty pretty astronomical stuff we've been seeing some stuff around here i'll show you guys right here this little area look at that. all that's lying now you guys every last bit of it and we're and this is a 10 by 20 this is a 10 by 20 where i mean this thing's massive so we got still a lot of work to do we're gonna be here for a little longer and you know trying to divide up stuff and that type of stuff but i mean we, we were talking we were like you know what kind of unit you think it is and i was like man figure one step in make five grand roughly i mean Brand. it's probably gonna be a hundred thousand dollar unit man <laughs> if not more look at this you just open up this box it's all holy crap <laughs> bro <laughs> bro look at that animated maiden rescue wow like this thing is filled <laughs> You guys like i'm being dead serious like this is this is insane now obviously we can't do box by box because it's so much stuff um but yeah it's pretty amazing stuff and uh we're gonna keep going though we're gonna keep dividing and <sighs> it's a lot you guys all right guys so i kid you guys not we're still finding more and more line out like this is everything that we went through that is it and you guys saw everything that we found he already packed up his stuff all of this stuff is loose trains all this stuff is like train track type stuff i just opened up one box and look at all this you guys brand new brand new you guys every single thing every single thing that box is a little beat up but that's okay fast track and then i just opened this one up and i haven't gone through it but i just know there was lionel stuff in here and then look at this you guys every last oh there's rail king too look at that every single thing you guys you guys this is crazy this is such a crazy unit like i said we spent uh a little over eight thousand in total that is a steal we've already kind of roughly tallied up everything not the new stuff that we just found just now that I just showed you guys, but he has roughly five grand worth of stuff. I have roughly five grand worth of stuff. So, wow. And we guys, we're not even a step in. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna even show you. Like, like this, more train tracks right here. More train tracks. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with that. Um, so like, look at this, you guys. This right here is a G scale. This thing says G scale, royal blue, ready to run train set. Look at that. 
just sitting here. And look at this. Turn this over. I guess this is going to be more train tracks. Yeah, so more train tracks here. But you guys understand what I'm saying. Like, look at this. All brand new. So, I don't know, you guys. This is this is pretty amazing. We've been talking. and We, we probably think this is probably our best unit we both have ever done so uh, again keith is such a blessing uh in my life in general um mainly as a friend and um he doesn't go uh, in business often with people but he knows i'm a good dude and and uh he knows i have a good heart so like i said I'm, he's just a blessing in my life man so um yeah like i mean dude this is crazy man absolutely crazy like, more lion now i mean all these boxes are gonna have to be out lying now like, like this thing is really stacked you guys like look at this this thing is huge this is a huge box no telling what's in that but yeah this is crazy what's in here uh, it's a bottle of chocolate soda ew yeah <laughs> so we're not gonna deal with that <laughs> that's going in the trash um but these bose speakers i think are brand new in there because they have the original bose tape right there so this is wow what a unit crazy stuff but me, me and him are gonna get back to it but i mean like comment subscribe all that good stuff man because i mean i don't know how we do it man i don't know how we do it but we do it it's, it's pretty pretty uh, ecstatic stuff so uh we're gonna get to more stuff i promise we're done for the day we've probably been here for probably a good four maybe a little, little more than four hours or so um this is the bed of my truck it actually was filled until i actually organized it um we put all the trash back in all of this is all train tracks uh me and my friend we made a deal that he's gonna take any and all books in here um, in exchange for all of the train tracks so whatever train tracks are in this unit i'm gonna take care of it now there's money in them they're just gonna be more of like an auction piece which is fine but every single box you guys has been lionel bachman um, i mean you guys saw everything for the most part we i mean we could literally see rail king here there's still we haven't been on this side we probably walked probably a good solid five to six seven steps right in this little area but we haven't been in the middle and then of course all the way back i did stand on a box that looked in the back and there's boxes stacked upon stacked so uh we we had a rough estimate of what, roughly what we spent on everything in total uh, cons uh this is very very conservative of how much we spent so we're roughly in it about forty five hundred dollars a piece um that's after renting it out gas money food you know that type of stuff um, but we think that just from him walking away with all his stuff and me walking away with all my stuff on this first initial trip We think we made our money back. We think we have over forty five hundred dollars worth of stuff So now it's time to get listed uh, get the stuff listed We will be back here tomorrow morning at least for me He'll find out tomorrow if he's gonna come out if not I'll be out here by myself and I'll split it evenly and all that good stuff and then uh, we're going to take the weekend break and then we'll probably be back here Monday. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If anything happens after this part, I'm just going to record at home and show you guys what exactly I picked up in this first haul. Um, Cause I don't know how long this video. <laughs> yeah. What, what my friend Keith said, yeah, he subscribed to me uh, and I will, uh, I'll show you, show you guys how much stuff I found or that I'm taking home. And uh, that way we can kind of get a good, decent video out of this video. So uh, much love. Thank you guys for watching. All right, you guys. So we made it to the house. Um, again, I don't know how much recording was done at the unit, but I kid you guys not. This is probably the most insane amount of stuff we've ever found in a unit. Uh, specifically me and then my buddy uh, Keith. He even said that this is probably his best unit that he's ever won. And he's been doing it for a long time now. Um, I'm still like a young and compared to how long he's been doing it. Um, but I think we're pretty happy with the first haul um that i think we're both pretty happy is what i should say um i think uh there's gonna be some home runs it's gonna be some lower end stuff but i think that's the way it always works out some things he'll win on some things i'll win on and at the end of the day as long as everybody's happy that is the only thing that really truthfully makes me happy and of course making our money back so um but in total we're roughly into it about 4500 uh, a piece so about nine thousand dollars and for the first trip you guys it's not bad again like i told you guys we'll be out there tomorrow morning but i'm gonna show you guys the haul for today um and it, it's 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 a lot it, it, it is a lot so uh just be prepared so yeah so here's some here's like a table that i kind of put together for you guys i mean everything from plasticville usa to looks like some railroad crossing things uh this right here is a rail king that's lionel some lionel trains we have this animated maiden rescue um thing i think there was two of these um, icing station. I think he got one and I got one. These things are going for I think $150 a piece um, I think he got one and I got two of these. I think again. I'm not too sure exactly what, what all he got I know he has some pretty solid stuff as well as me um, 
back here though is the biggest box of them all as you guys can see how big that box is this is the uh lionel 6-31985 none listed um he also got one that was similar to this except for it was the uh new york one mine is the santa fe one um i think his was going for around i think 500 is what i saw the sold comps on worth point for there's none listed right now it's same with mine none listed none sold and mine uh sold on worth point around 400 dollars. there's only a hundred dollar difference there however the thing is me and him both control the market for each of these individual items so you know we might put ours up there for a little bit more than what it sold over on worth point and then just accept best offer um i might even put mine up there for like 750 i don't know that's the best thing about whenever certain things are not listed on ebay you kind of control that market um but yeah so that was pretty crazy um but then like i said you got all this type of stuff you got k-line stuff i think k-line's kind of a little bit of a lower end one um you have this thing right here i don't know what this is worth but it's 282r triple action magnet crane so i don't know uh normally 180 bucks yeah 6-22998 um one thing about this type of stuff too is that uh we didn't look up everything we looked up a handful of things like the bigger boxes just to kind of see like give you guys an example like if i got this for 400 and he got the other one for 500 he basically found me a hundred dollar bill does that make sense i think it should even if even if i got more stuff than him or he got more stuff than me it doesn't really matter because in the end this the value of this unit is gonna be pretty insane um but at the end of the day as long as everybody's happy that's what makes me happy um and i think we got some pretty decent inventory uh to work with for this first haul i can't complain um and it's just gonna, it's gonna be very overwhelming tomorrow like i said we will be going back and um hopefully find some more stuff because like i said every single box that we looked at before we left we didn't look inside them but the boxes itself all of its lionel trains just it's pretty incredible stuff uh, i think this is the older lionel um operating automatic crossing gate and signal six dash six two one six two this was pretty cool uh, normal sale seventy dollars um this is uh lionel gilbert american flyer trains trains six dash four nine eight zero six so that's pretty cool and you got some like other rail king stuff like this i don't know what that is right there um and you just got random so i think this right here is used i think this is one of the very few pieces that are used but it's four dash two three two one uh lionel you got this cool uh cool thing he got one i got one lion oil derrick six dash one four one five three i don't know what the value of that is we didn't look that up we just know there was two of them so that's kind of what we did uh you know you get one i get one he also got one of these railroad crossing things uh looks like i got two of these mainline color position signal six dash two four one zero one uh, i got this little plastic model kit 57 57 chevrolet ragtop lindberg is the is the brand um this is a superman on radio 27 original episodes historical book so that's kind of cool um then we got a craftsman uh torque wrench micro torque wrench um this thing's going for about 75 to 100 bucks probably close to 100 bucks because it is new and when i tell you guys majority of his stuff is new like 95 percent of it was new um so again it's pretty incredible stuff lionel we got rail king rugged rails again we, we, we didn't look any of this up it was just kind of like hey you take these three he you take those two you know yada yada rail king again rail king rail king and then the, all the bottom ones are all lionel as you guys can tell there's a layer right there everything in here is going to be anything from like transformer like switches to like plastic stuff like this like antennas i guess i'm not too sure what that is i would have to look them up um but like everything from like just loose trains and uh there's actually two switches in here let me see if i can move some of this stuff and get you guys the model number on it because the model number on these are pretty uh darn good so the model number on this one all right yeah so the model number on this is cw-80 and we got two of them so uh and th these are all brand new um and then everything in this tote here is just filled with like plastic trees and stuff so it's not too bad um the trees are a little slower for sure um, but i still want to show that um this was probably the coolest piece this was one of the first items that we picked up if you guys saw those two boxes at the beginning i showed you guys the top box but i didn't show you guys this one i forgot um my friend key said i can have it so i said okay um again like the sell through rate is kind of it's kind of weird um but i'm again i'm not too sure i scanned the barcode and uh just seems to be a little a little bit on the slower side but either way it's really cool it's like a replica of mcdonald's made by rail king and this thing is huge it fits in this uh perfect size box and it has the manufacturer box right there so that's always good um pretty solid stuff um this right here i'm not too sure what exactly this is but 
it's like some kind of metal thing. I'm gonna have to figure that out later. Um, we'll put that down here. And then this right here is Lionel. Let's see if we can find the model number on this. Lionel 6-18088. So there's that one. Um, and then this Bose 301 Series 3 direct reflecting speaker system. This thing is brand new. Um, he ended up getting the bottom box, which was the 201 Series. Um, and uh, so, yeah, and both of them are brand new. His was technically open, but it was like sealed on the inside. And this one right here is just sealed with the original uh, Bose tape, as you guys can see there. It says Bose on the, on the actual tape itself. And then this stuff right here is just a bunch of random more Lionel stuff. Lionel 6-28857. It says Alaska GP-7. The box is a little wear to it. Um, and then there was these. Uh, he got one and I got one of these. This is pre-owned, but I don't think that's pre-owned. It looks pretty darn new to me. Uh, then just random tracks. More stuff in here. Just random trains. and I mean, <laughs> it's literally just the same thing. Just different model and that type of stuff. Um, like I told you guys, we're $4,500 invested in everything. He's $4,500 invested all in on this unit. Of course, he has another unit that he has to uh, clean out and all that good stuff. But um, as of right now, we're renting this one out for at least one month. We're going to try not to rent anything else out. Um, but yeah, I think this is a great first haul, you guys. Like, look at all this stuff, man. I think there's easily going to be 100 pieces uh, here, roughly, give or take, give or take. So, um, I'm pretty excited excited about it. So tell me what you guys think in the live chat and in the comment section. Whether or not how, how we get so lucky, I, I honestly have no idea. I don't know how I get so lucky, man. I just have uh, blessings of, of people you know around me. You know, like I said, my my friend Keith, he's he's just another blessing in my life. He's just a really good friend. I consider him a very close friend. And uh, yeah, like it's just one thing after another, man. You gotta stay blessed. Good, and that's why I always say, man, good karma goes a long way. I always say it in my comments. I always say it in the live chat. Um, so I, I truly believe in good karma and it just, it shows back up time in and time again. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Now it's time to get some of this listed before we go back tomorrow morning. All right guys. So I just wanted to hop in here right after that little, uh, video clip of me showing you guys everything that we found. Um, I just want to hop in there real quick and uh, have some stats for you guys. I always like to do this type of stuff to kind of be like full transparency and everything that we're finding, uh, roughly the potential value of all this. And I want to show you guys that I'm not over exaggerating on all this stuff. Now I will say is I, I am truly sorry that I can't show you guys every little thing whenever we're going through the unit because time is of the essence. We have a month to get all this done on top of that. He's cleaning out another unit. Um, but at the end recap, I am going to show you guys everything that I found to the best of my ability. But when I say this is a lot of stuff, it is a lot of stuff. Um, so we won this unit on the 15th of June. Today is the 18th. By the time this airs, it's going to be the 19th of June. And uh, we have some significant listings so far. I've been working hard uh and and just, just you know getting on that listing grind to get some of this stuff listed because when i say it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff so the second video obviously hasn't aired yet so these numbers are going to be from the first haul that you guys just seen and then the second haul that the future video is going to be coming out for if you guys do want to see the stuff that we are finding uh, make sure you guys go to my ebay store in the description below I'm not saying you have to buy anything if you're just curious go into the my ebay store or click the search bar and just search up trains or something like that so i'm pretty sure all of those listings will pop up um, so you guys can see that I'm not over exaggerating this stuff. This unit is by far the biggest blessing I've ever come across. It's the biggest thing that he's ever come across. And we both agree that this is our best unit of all time. Even after splitting it 50-50, it's probably going to bring us the most profit, uh, I would think, you know, in all the other units we've ever won. Um, now, train stuff is going to be kind of different. Some train stuff is going to sell very quick. Some things are going to sell very slow. He already sold um, a $400 train, which is pretty crazy. I think he sold three things so far, but he only listed 13 items. And he's actually, he's he's above me right now in the in the, in the sales with just the train unit. Um, and, uh, but yeah, but it, but it's pretty wild. Some of the stuff that, that we, we've been finding. So let me go ahead and break down these stats real quick. So as you guys know, we're both in there for about $4,500 a piece, and that's very conservative. Um, it's probably more like $4,200 or so, uh, but we just added $300 bucks for gas every time we go down there to food, to drinks, whatever we need. As of right now, we have sold $100 worth of stuff. That's on my side. We sold one piece for $100, and we have a total of 66 items listed for $6,427. That is almost $100 uh, value per item almost this is just under that and that is 66 items that we probably have from our first haul and the second haul which you guys haven't seen 
we probably have 200 pieces. It could be more. It might be a little less. I don't know, but I think we probably have around 200 pieces, and um, and just wildly ridiculous. 66 items for almost 6,500 dollars. That's that is intense. That is insane. 95% um, of this stuff was brand new. The other 5% was loose. You know that type of stuff. But this person. Um, had some money all he was doing was buying stuff putting them in boxes and storing them that's all he was doing um and that's why there's so many so much new stuff that we're finding but uh but anyways i don't want to rant no more just let you guys know this is just another huge blessing that you guys are gonna witness over here on the youtube channel so please share the video man like the video comment the video for all the hard work that we're putting into the you know these storage units and trying to bring you guys the best content possible again i apologize for not showing you guys everything we found while going through the unit but every haul that we do i will promise you i will go through each and everything with you guys might not be any soul comps on the screen because like i said it's a lot but i, I am dedicated to showing you guys pretty much every single piece that we find um, so yeah, with that being said, man, thank you guys for all the love and support, man. Keep supporting me, man. I love you guys, and I love—I just love staying motivated for y'all. Y'all seem to love the videos, and I'm—I'm I'm gonna stick with it, man. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll hit a million subscribers. But for now, I'm gonna cherish our small community that we have now, and I'm gonna cherish you guys forever and ever. So, uh, with that being said, you guys, much love. It's your boy, the Georgia Picker. Have a good weekend. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.